Good morning, everyone. Well, the sun's out again, and presumably supposed to be a nice day today again. So I'm looking forward to that. Now I got my coffee ready to drink it with all of you. Uh, I just text a friend of mine, that the local here, to let him know that his dog is running around this beach. It's a big part lab. Nice dog, but a lot of people are afraid because this dog is running loose. And they have little dogs, and they don't know what the temperament of the big dog is. So they're scared. So anyway, I text him, let him know that his dog is here, and that uh, he needs to come get it, or they're going to end up calling and having the dog picked up. I'd hate to see that, but at the same time, it's a female dog, and she's in heat. You know, if you can't be a responsible dog owner, I mean, what can I say? I'm, it, it's just ridiculous. People need to have control over their dogs, and they need to... If the dog's going to run loose, they need to make sure those dogs, especially those female dogs, have been fixed. It's not fair to the dog. It's not healthy to the dog to be out there having puppies every time you turn around. I don't care how cute and sweet you think it is, it's wrong. I mean, how would you like to be out there? and constantly be having babies one after the other after i know i have seven <laughs> but i wasn't out there <laughs> uh but yeah i mean it, it's just to me you have to be responsible dog owner and if you're not then you don't need the dog but i called him or i texted him and let him know what was going on it's up to him what he's going to do Believe it or not, I have combed my hair. <laughs> it doesn't look it, but I have combed my hair. It's a little breeze out here. It isn't bad, but there's a chill in the air. So, you know, I'm going to protect myself. Um, I just hope he comes and gets that dog. I really do. Like I say, it's a nice dog. She's really a uh, gentle dog, but... Little dogs can be instigator and cause a big dog that's gentle to defend itself because a little dog is spunky. They <laughs> really are. And that's the other thing that I don't like about, you know, out here, you need to keep your dog contained. I have one that I do not contain. It's the only one I don't. And that's because she's right there by me at all times where I can scoop her up if I have to. The other two, I keep on the lead. But Sassy, <laughs> no, I don't. But I'm very careful. And when I go out, when I take them for a walk, I look out first. I look to see if there's any danger out there for them. And then I take them out. I don't take them out otherwise. If I see a big dog around, mm -mm, I don't take them out. I'd rather put the paper in the van down on the floor and take them out and take a chance of something happening. I know I had one person comment to me a while back about that, well, you know, talk about keeping a dog contained, but I had my dog loose. Yes, I did. And she's always loose with me, but I'm always extremely careful when I take her out. So, you know, if you're out there and you're van dwelling or camping or whatever, keep your animals contained. They need to be contained. And I think I just saw the person that owns a dog drive by, and I hope he's got her. I hope he does. But anyway, um, just, just a heads up. No. 
I don't want to see nothing happen with that dog. At the same time, I don't think he's very responsible for his dog. And the name that he's got for her isn't even a nice name because, hold on one second. Because he calls her, her name is Bitch. What a name for a dog. That's horrible. I mean, can't you give her uh, a Susie or a, a Sally or Sassy like my dog or any other female name? Not that. So that kind of gives you an idea of the type of person. But anyway, my guys, uh, I love you all. And I'm saying peace, hugs, and thank you for watching. I don't know if you could see me, but I've tried several areas and I still look the same. Dark. <laughs> so, anyway, until later, love you all.